Hello, friends. Welcome to the Square Spiral Garden Tour. Today is the 26th of June. So we're in summer now. Here's our peppers. Not doing great. With some lettuce. More peppers. You know what I'm seeing? That they're covered in ants. I wonder if there's aphids there. Probably want to I'm not seeing any aphids. Here's our wild lettuce trellis. Wild lettuce, wild grape. This is the wild lettuce, I think. All right, still no giant hibiscus blooms, but we got plenty of uh, wild morning glory. I harvested mint this past week, so this patch is a little thinner. Here's our apple. This is the Arkansas black. We've got Moline, which is an um, exotic. Not sure if it's considered invasive, but it's medicinal. I need to get those flowers because those flowers can be used uh, to make eardrops. I still have a couple blooms on the Artemisia. So I watered yesterday with the, my new fan sprinkler. You might've seen the video. Look at that, look at that. And it did not fill up the wee pond. So I'm gonna bring some buckets of water out. These guys have not made much progress since last week, except that they are budding out flowers. So hopefully by the next video, you'll get to see Black Eyed Susans. Um, the Taro, the elephant ear, is not doing great this year. Um, here's the Cortland apple, still doing good. Um, I also harvested and dried some of my mugwort that was over there that had gotten tall like this guy. Uh, and I used a trick that a friend showed me to use your car as a dehydrator. Mulberry, I'm going, I'm hopefully going to give this to a friend of mine. It's too big. So here's our one of our flower patches. Um, that is um, planted for the butterflies. What are they? The monarch butterflies. Uh, it's supposed to be perennial, and I've already forgotten the name of it. But I'm really glad to see it's come back. Um, I still haven't planted anything here. I think tomorrow is the new moon, or maybe it's today. So the things that I planted did nothing. It was a flower, one of those free flower packets you get for ordering. Um, still more Black Eyed Susans. And the elderberries are done. They're mostly turning into berries now. And you know what? I looked in my freezer. I still have most of last year's elderberries. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these berries. If I leave them to the birds, I will never get another berry again. Um, so the, wa the fan sprinkler did get all the way out here. Uh, so my buckwheat is starting to grow again. It, it really kind of suffered out here. Um, I got cute and pulled up a uh, chicory from the side of the road. I'm hoping it dropped seeds here. I hope. We'll see. Mm -hmm, flowers. So one of the things I've been paying close attention to is the watermelon. And the vines are doing really well. I had to get the round sprinkler, that little yellow round sprinkler out here to get them because they were outside of the fan. This is the back corner, the southern corner of the garden. So, um, so I want you to take note. See, here's the round sprinkler. It's still here. Here's the Hopi um, red amaranth. Um, it's starting to really grow. And... Um, but let me show you where it's really starting to grow. That is over here. I'm never doing red nor beans ever again, I swear. Those guys are so pitiful and they've been watered and I've, I trenched to get them more water and they're just not doing, they're not doing. Next year I'm putting squash here. The squash, by the way. Oh, let's look at that first. So it's starting to really take off. 
Look at the flowers. Let's get this guy up on the trellis if we can here. Let go of that. Let go. Um, hopefully we can get him to hook on there. The other guys managed to start growing up, but this guy I hadn't trained yet. I'm gonna stick the leaves through. I don't know what to do. Um, here, let's try that. We'll stick one leaf through there and maybe that'll hold it. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. And um, I actually ate some squash blossoms in lunch the other day. Marigolds, marigolds bring me joy. All right. Yeah, our treacherous little runner beans. It's what they did last year and I thought it was because they didn't get enough water, but I think they maybe they just cannot handle heat. Oh, there's a pit. I'm getting ready to, to do some pit composting. Okay, this spot right here. Now, at first I thought, well, it's getting shade from the grapes and maybe a little a morning shade from the elderberry. But look at these guys. Look, this is a foot and a half tall. These guys are two feet tall. No place else. I planted all these guys the same the same time. Where's the ones that are over here? Yeah, look at this. Look at that. And then look at them. The only thing I can think is I had pit composted here just before planting. So my guess is they're doing well because of the pit composting. I planted these guys over here <clears throat> the same time and look at them. And I have weeded over here. I've pulled up weeds. I've, I've left weeds to shade them. Uh, these guys haven't even made it, it looks like. But then right over there, they're enormous. So pit composting works. I just need more compost. I need to be like digging up the whole place. I don't have that kind of energy. Flowers, beautiful flowers. Oh, bumblebees. Bumble, 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 bumble. Great big bumblebees, great big bumblebees. You are so cute. You are so cute, little bumblebee. Um, the strawberries, they're getting taken over by the Asiatic daylily. I kind of let the Asiatic daylilies go. That's these guys here. Not that. Well, see? Everybody's fighting. All right, everybody was garden fighting. Okay, that doesn't work. This is Asiatic daylily. They produce pretty little bright blue flowers that are about that big in the little half circle. I will sometimes let it grow in my garden because if, if, if I'm not going to do anything else in that area, it will um, hold a lot of moisture. And that's really nice. Um, it's also very easy to pull up. I can demonstrate for you right now and it won't come back quickly if you do pull it up. Very easy to pull up. Well, these guys gotta come up too. All right, I'm not here to weed for you. So, very easy to pull up. And it makes good compost. So, I'll let it grow sometimes. Um, so I'm gonna leave it for now because it's gonna shade my strawberries a bit. It's gonna crowd them also. I will definitely need to pull them out, but that central mound in my garden, in my um, um, strawberry garden, I need to refill it. I did, it has sunk year after year. I, I put, I did hugo culture. I put wooden sticks and um, bits down at the bottom, maybe some bark, uh, a whole bunch, like one third of it was wood. And then I put soil on top and that was where my strawberries started. And when they started, they were close to level with the top, so it's sunk. Now the thing is broken. It was broken when I got it. It's, uh, that's why I got it. Oop, gonna step on things. So I might need to fix that as well. 
but that's not the primary problem, I think. Um, it's just that the wood is collapsing underneath and hopefully turning into really good soil. So I gotta fill that, oh, butterflies. I think that's one of the not good butterflies, but they're so pretty. All right, what else do I wanna show you? Oh, oh, did you want to see some gladioli? Oh my goodness. Look at the color, look at that. We have really enjoyed having some of these in the house in, uh, in cut arrangements. Isn't he stunning? Just love it. More mullein. I really got to get out here and get those flowers today. So we've got rain predicted for this evening and I'm really hoping that we'll get it. I've harvested a few um, passion flowers and dried them in my car. <clears throat> Excuse me. Along with the mint and the mugwort. But the passion flower is um, the flower itself. You dry it or you can eat it fresh and it will cheer you up for several hours. It's not gonna make you high or anything. It's just gonna make you feel like, oh, everything's fine. <gasps> okay, I'm good. Everything's good. Um, mint, I've got more of it to harvest and dry. This, I found out, is a noxious invasive. Um, strangely enough, it's a relative of the mulberry. I forget the name of it, I don't care. Um, I don't know of any use for it, so I've been pulling it up. Gonna have some goldenrod flowers soon. Yeah, look at my mint. Oh my gosh. Oh no! Oh no! Flower down. Well, I will need to pick him and bring him indoors. This whole thing is just falling over. Alright, I'm gonna let him fall that way. Um, yeah, see, so this is the squash that I pulled some flowers off of the other day. So far those squash bugs have not attacked, except for the little ones that I sprayed with soap that were next to the tomatoes. The lettuce still is in the process of bolting, and but it has not bolted properly yet. This, flat, this lettuce seems to be very heat tolerant, um, which is very surprising and very, very, makes me very happy. So I definitely want it to bolt and go to seed. I've been eating some arugula. Um, you probably can't even see the arugula because it is so crowded by weeds. But um, nice hot pepper flavor, not pepper, hot spicy flavor. Um, and I rescued my lemon balm. Can you believe the lemon balm almost died? So that's gone well. All right, I don't know that I have much else to show you, except that our grapes are doing really well. Look at all these grapes. Look at all those grapes. Grapey, grapey, grape, 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 grapey, grape, grape, grape. I gotta cut this out again. It's a um, crepe myrtle that keeps volunteering here. But yeah, the I have found a few of the Japanese uh, Japanese beetles and knocked them into some soapy water or just into a bucket and then crushed them. Um, there's not too many this year. There's, a, there's some. You can see they're definitely doing some damage, but not as bad as, as maybe last year. I don't know. I don't think so. And um, our basil is doing okay. I think now is about the time I need to uh, cut the tops off of them. I did that the other day with uh, some older ones uh, that are near the blueberries. Um, oh, let's look at the blueberries. Uh, and yeah, see, I cut the tops off of them and put them in my lunch and uh, they blew my mouth open. So yeah, I'm losing my blueberries to birds. Um, I tried putting cat fur on the blueberries and these are extremely bold birds. They've not minded at all. Um, so I'm gonna have to get netting. We're just, we're losing the crop this year and birds will not stop. They will come back every day. They're just birds, they're, they're gonna do that. Oh, here's the uh, 
Asiatic daylily. It's exotic invasive, um, grows very fast, very dense, and will choke out everything like a lot of Asian um, plants will do. Uh, Asia is a very large continent, so its, um, it's plants are, are stronger competitors than uh, North American plants because North America is simply a smaller and less um, um, less competitive um, land. I don't know what, where I'm, what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, lots of mint. Yeah, I'll be back out here in a minute to, to get a lot of this mint and put it in the car to dry. <clears throat> so, um, I guess we're not going to get any rhubarb this year. Rhubarb appears to be gone. It lived for a good four or five years. Uh, and I only harvested it once or twice. Was looking forward to it getting bigger and stronger and uh, before I seriously got into harvesting it. And uh, now it's gone. So I am sad. All right, there we go. Square spiral garden. Ooh, so beautiful. Be well, my friends.